have uh, in the database of the European Blood and Marrow Transplantation Society more than 2,000 patients, MS patients, now transplanted for, the, for their disease. So in the last 20 years, so we understood that the transplant is very effective. It is an invasive procedure, so it takes some risk. Uh, there is a mortality which is uh, usually below 1%. Is still present, and um, with the evol evolution of the transplant technology, it has become a more safe, let's say. But it's still a, a, an effective but intense procedure which must be restricted to patients with an aggressive form with a high risk of developing a disability, a severe disability, in the short or long term. The conditioning regimen is the chemotherapy that we administer before the transplant. Um, we have no data now saying which is the best conditioning regimen. We have a different experience according to the centers, so ranging from very low intensity to high intensity regimens. Uh, in my opinion, uh, there is not the best regimen. But probably we have to tailor, to adapt uh, the intensity of the regimen to the patient, to the clinical characteristic of the patient. So um, probably the next uh, prospective studies will tell us uh, something more about uh, the optimal conditional regimen.